Hi everyone. Today I just want to uh, give my thoughts on a very prominent figure in the Catholic Church, just particularly in the United States. And um, I don't like to um, badmouth people. And um, so I'm going to try to keep it very <laughs> uh, just factual. And um, because honestly, I don't, I don't know this person in person, personally. Um, I, I just have some real concerns about some of the things that he teaches. Now, the person that I'm talking about is Bishop Barron. And you all probably know him from his um, very popular ministry, Word on Fire. And I, I do want to say that I commend Bishop Barron for uh, the Word on Fire ministry as far as um, his goal of getting Catholics to read scripture, you know, getting a Bible into the hands of as many people as possible. I think that um, Catholics for, you know, a long time we've been seen as or accused of um, being people who don't really take the Word of God seriously or we're not really into studying the Word of God like our Protestant brothers and sisters. And so I do think that it is an admirable thing that he has done to try to encourage Catholics to read scripture other than, you know, what they hear from the Ambo on Sunday. That's a good thing. My concerns with his um, teachings, uh, particularly two of them, but today I'm going to focus on one, is the one that... Um, Let's see if I can find the quote. Um, he is quoted as saying that we can at least hope that all shall be saved. So, you know, it is not our duty, our right to judge other people. And obviously God has the final say. So we don't know in the end what happens to anybody, whether it be someone who appeared to have lived a very holy life or someone who did awful, atrocious things. Um, we don't know at the moment of death they could see the face of God and repent and beg for his mercy and and wind up in purgatory, if, you know, for a long time as opposed to hell. We don't know, and it is not our job to judge. However, there are many scripture passages that confirm that there is a place of damnation, <laughs> that there is a hell, and that some people do go there. So I, I will list these underneath the video. I encourage you to look them up for yourself and, you know, read what Scripture has to say. For example, Matthew chapter 25, verse 21, um, talks about the sheep and the goats and um, the goats being sent to hell, um, the wide gate to damnation that many pass through, in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 or the eternal punishment of Sodom and Gomorrah Jude chapter 1 verse 7 the fate of those thrown into the lake of fire we can find in Revelation chapter 20 verse 15 and um, also in the New Testament there were some occasions where the evangelist um, believed that Judas had been lost, as in for all eternity. Um, and you can see that in Matthew chapter 26, verse 24, and Mark chapter 14, verse 21, and in the Gospel of John chapter 17 as well. So it, my concern is that... Um, 
this is just another example of kind of how the world that we live in right now, the society we live in right now, is really downplaying sin. <laughs> you know, nothing's a sin anymore. You know, as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting someone else, it's okay. God loves everyone. God is merciful. Yes, God does love everyone. And yes, God is merciful. But we have to remember that God is also just. And there are commandments and things that he has um, told us to live by. And we cannot honor God and keep his commandments in our way. We can't <laughs> bend them or change them um, to fit modern day, modern day circumstances or, or whatever. In other words, we love God, but we have to love him on his terms. We can't bend and change God or his laws or his word to suit what we want it to say. And that is one of my um, great concerns with, um, in as far as Bishop Barron is concerned. So I think most of you who are in the uh, traditional Catholic community already know and are aware of this, but um, if you're not, um, my friends, I just wanted to make you aware so that you are just cautious as to what you hear, you know, just be discerning as to what you hear. If it doesn't match up with scripture, if it doesn't match up with tradition, then it's not right. <laughs> something's wrong, something's amiss. <laughs> so there you go. I said what I've been wanting to say, and I hope that this is helpful to you. If you know anyone who might uh, benefit from hearing this message, please do like and share the video. Now, let us end by praying um, for Bishop Barron, um, that he will be enlightened by the Holy Spirit and through the words of Scripture, and with and for each other. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu, in mulieribus, benedictus frutus ventris tu, Iesu. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pectoribus, nunt in ora mortis nostre. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.